Well lads, what's the crack? My name is RGJ Runner and welcome back to Silent Hill. So we completed the door puzzle last time and I'm not really sure where to go from here now. Yes, the only thing I can do is check the map. Right, right, there's lots of unexplored rooms. There's the operating prep room, that sounds fun. Intensive care unit room 205 and 206. That's right, so we have a bit of exploring to do. So the operating room should be right behind me. Yes, okay. This is going to be tons of fun. And there's already enemies somewhere. Oh, look, here's one. Don't you dare swing that knife at me. What are you doing, the Harlem Shake? None of that. It was old in 2010, and it's just as old now. Okay, where are you? Oh, there you are. Sneak attack! Ooh, a swing and a miss. Right, so what was out here? Oh, there's another room. This leads into the uh, intensive care unit. No, it leads into the operating room. Oh, so this is the operating prep room, then the one over is the actual operating room. Come on, nursey nurse. Oh, so we got a few things here now. Will you stop hurting them shaking? Okay, we got a key. Basement storeroom key. Ah, yeah. Okay, so does that mean we're finished here? Probably not, because there's a few more rooms to explore. Now, nothing is ever that simple. You can never leave any room or any area in Silent Hill unexplored. Because it will definitely dick you in the end. Hello? Oh, hello, nurse. Nice to see you. Someone who wants to see you here as well. It's my friend, Mr. Hammer. Oh, don't be shy. Say hi. Would you freaking hit her? What's up with you? <laughs> no. Okay. You're down for the count. So what's the purpose of this room now? Nothing unusual. Great observation. Nothing unusual. Oh, disinfecting alcohol. Ah, <laughs> yes. Anything else here? No, 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 no. Nothing unusual. Except all the rust and the rot and the blood. But that's all part of the course, I assume. Right, so room 205 now. No, oh, no, it's got jam on it. Same with this one. Oh, no. We can go in here. Oh, here's a chair. Here, hurry, take a seat. No? Okay. No rest for the weary, I guess. Give me that. And health wise, how am I doing? I keep doing that. Health wise, I'm pretty fine. But you know what? I'll take one of these. Yeah, now I'm back to normal. So next port of call is the basement. And that should be all the way down on floor numero one. Unless there's going to be another hidden floor now. Oh, no. Room, room four, floor, 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 four is gone because it never existed. Wow, that's a fast elevator. Door room, yes, that was locked. I'm guessing there's gonna be a boss battle behind this door, maybe? Maybe not? Alright, doesn't look like there's a whole lot of anything here. That's kind of worrying, to be honest. 
There's a bottle filled with some kind of drug. Better leave it. Good idea. Don't do the drugs. Bag of bullets. Okay, same nonsense. Some empty bottles. More empty bottles. Oh wait, there, there's a, there's a health drink there. I see it. We, we pick up the health drink. Is that it's on the bottom shelf? Unless I have to be at the other side. Oh come on, that is definitely a health drink at the bottom. Uh, I guess he's incapable of bending down. Poor guy. Shotgun shells and what is this? This looks interesting. This looks like it can be pushed, right? Yes, I do want to push the cabinet. Ah, ha <laughs> Hidden door. What lurks behind here? More secrets? Ah, yeah, more secrets. Okay, a vent. Lovely. Looks like a hallway under the grate. Can't move it since the vines have grown around it. So this is where the disinfectant comes in? Maybe? Maybe not? What I want to do first is just check the boxes. Just in case there is anything useful in there. No. Very well. Nothing special in the box. Nothing to worry about. Okay, right you are. Harry. So I have a few key things in my inventory. I have... A lighter, an oil lighter. Ah, okay, I know where this is going. So, we use the disinfectant alcohol. Like so. Pour disinfecting alcohol on the vines, and now we just light it up and watch it go. I gotta keep doing that. I, I can't distinguish between the shortcut for the map and the inventory. Okay, here we go. Fire. Me may fire. Me a man. Me must save my daughter. Ooh, now this looks incredibly spooky. Oh, watch yourself, dear. <gasps> Jesus. Oh, is that a one-hit kill? Nope. Not today. Not today. Jeez, no wonder why University Hospital never gets understaffed. All the nurses are going to sign until. Sure, the conditions are a lot worse, but the pain must be better. Would you. Stamp hunter, there you go. So there's another big ass door here, I think. <gasps> Holy shit, man! Would you, you get off me! Stop Harlem shaking me! Yes, up. Oh. 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 Uh, I don't have a map of this place yet, so am I supposed to be down here anyway? Like, will I eventually find a map, or was I supposed to go through the other gate? See, this thing? Oh, no. It's got jam on it. <gasps> oh my god, I forgot to tie myself. Oh no, because I, if I don't tie myself, I forget how long I'm recording for. And like I said, I like keeping these videos short and to the point. Okay, here we go. I think I've only been playing what for five minutes. That's all. I mean, my last video was was over half an hour. I didn't mean, mean for it to run that long, but... Because I'm so into this game, I, I just completely watch time fly by. One nurse. That sounds awfully violent. Sound like it was coming from the next room over. <gasps> Ooh, holy 
crap. No dares to VSH. V hey, hey, v v v VHS tape. Good lord, I think I, I was having a stroke there for a second. There's videotape, would I take it? Yes, I will indeed. Wait, did I say VS, VSH or VHS? It's, it's VHS. Yeah, VHS. Yes, yes, yes. Because this weren't really popular in the 90s. I forget when, when DVDs were released. Was it like the late 90s? Early 90s? I don't know. All I just know is I didn't get a DVD player until like 2002. Yeah, that far behind. What's this? Oh, it looks like a normal room. Kind of, with blood stains on the bed. Looks like someone's been here. I wonder who. <gasps> oh, it's Alessa. She looks like my daughter. Alessa. And there's a key here as well. No, wait, pick up the key. The examination room key. Take it, yes, I will do indeed. Yes, everything's falling nicely into place. A bed. What's it doing here? Uh, who would? Good question. Who would? Who would indeed really diddly diddly do? The examination room, that is God knows where. It's not down here, is it? Okay, no, it's got jam on it. Right. Righty ho de ho. I don't think I'll ever find a map of this place. So, where is the examination room? So. The basement floor. Director's office, storeroom, examination room. Okay, so it. So we go to the first floor, back to the medic's medicine room, and yeah. Okay, fairly straightforward. But what I also want to do is. Just in case it's entirely optional, just in case that video is optional, I want to go back up to the video room as well first. That's marked on the map as being on the second floor? No, third floor? Yes, third floor, room 302. Is that right, 302? Yes, video room 302, third floor. I've kind of turned around here. Where's, where's the Ellie? Ah, here we go. And I know there's a bird cage up there, but I have no idea what that's for yet. Room 302 is on the far side, right? Yes, indeed, you redoodly do. So, what beyond this tape? Aladdin? Cinderella? Who knows? Let's do the old save technique. Again, while uh, save states are a thing, I think it's always a good idea to have a backup. Always, always back up your stuff, Lady and Germs. It's all but usual, usual, and I have a usable tape. Here we go. Little unusual fever. Don't get pulse. Just.
Right, so that was a thing. Can I watch it again or no? The VCR seems broken, it doesn't want to play. No, I think that could be a thing with the blood covered tape. Maybe that could be it. Right, so back down to the first floor. Right, so the examination room is out this way. Should be through this. Wait, what? 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 Ye yes, I I think. Ah, uh, yeah, yes. It's North Lisa, and it, again, the game is very pixelated. I know that there's a setting I can fix to adjust that. Okay, you're getting a bit too touchy feely here. Oh, creepy. Finally, someone else who's okay. Who are you? My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. It was awful. So you don't know anything either. Great. I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old? A seven-year-old girl. What, she's your daughter? Yes. A seven-year-old girl. I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. I'm sorry. Ah, <sighs> that's all right. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? You don't know? Don't you work here? We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. So I really don't know. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... <clears throat> Damn! My head! What's wrong? Harry? Harry, let me help you. Harry? And we're going back to normal words what until now. You were too late. Wait, what? Too late for what? Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. Tell me everything you know. What's going on? Darkness. The town is being devoured by darkness. Its strength must overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Believe the evidence of your eyes. The other church to be still. That is your destination. There's two churches now? This is beyond my abilities. Only you can stop it now. Have you not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. Oh, that thing, what yeah, the symbol. It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait! All right, see you, Mother Teresa. Okie dokie, so we've got a key. Oh, there's an antique shop key. Ah, so we are pretty much done so here for the time being, unless we have to come back here again, which I don't think we will be doing anytime soon ish. So, uh, yeah. Yep, yep, buddy, yep, yep, yep. And the only thing that's got me a little confuzzled is that there's a bird, there's a bird cage on the third floor, it seemed, 
it could do something or I was supposed to put a key in it but I never found that key and I've been fairly fairly thorough in my search for nearly everything in the game and normally like with games like these I just want them to be fast and over and done with but no no, no it's Silent Hill I'm fairly wrapped up in it I actually watched the two Silent Hill films there recently uh, I saw them before so I just rewatched them just to get myself caught up but those two films, they were pretty unique in and of themselves, how they took uh, Silent Hill 1 and Silent Hill 3 and sort of flipped all the roles around and even added their own unique spins. I mean, lots of people don't, don't like video game movies, but I, I think these two were pretty well done. And apparently there's supposed to be a third one in the works, Return to Silent Hill. But God knows when that's going to come out. If it ever does come out. I hope, hope it does come out sometime soon. Or we get a bit of a teaser trailer for it. Because I feel like it's the only video game movie in the last few years that has been done right. I mean, sure, you had the Resident Evil. What the hell is that? Okay, yeah, like I was saying, sure you had the Resident Evil live action series. The first movie of Resident Evil was alright, the second one was okay. After that, I think they pretty much went downhill. I mean, uh, especially the last two, it, they were the weirdest things I've ever freaking seen in my entire life. CGI was awful, storytelling was lazy, lackluster, everything like that. It tried to be its own unique thing, but it tried to borrow too many elements from the Resident Evil games and tried to make them make sense, but they didn't. Wait, where the hell am I going on with all of this now? <laughs> Absolutely nowhere, I'm just rambling on. Oh, okay, either way, so we have to go to the antique shop. I probably won't do that until the next video. I just want to get my bearing and see if I can find it. Um. Police post office, Silent Hill Town Center. If it's here, I can't make it out. Al Camila Hospital, Coon Street. It's going to be fairly hit or miss where this shop is. I would assume that it's normally one of the big red buildings here. So you have like post office, that's clearly marked. Al Camila Hospital, Silent Hill Town Center. Uh, Police station. I think I said that already. Did I? Yeah. Uh, but, 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 but I can't make out anything else. It's, it's all blurry. Even if I turn down the uh, the textures or the smoothing, I probably wouldn't be able to make it out either. So I'm going to be running around for a long time trying to find this one shop. Or am I? Yes, I, I will. Because as you can see, the text is all janked. Uh, okay, well that will have to wait until the next video. So guys, if you did enjoy this one, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment favorite, share with your friends, and of course, like always, I will see you in the next one. So until next time, see ya.